Good morning, Weasel. Good morning. It's gonna be such a good day. It's gonna be such a good day. Ow, you bonked me with your camera, man. Careful with that king. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Good morning, you. Sitting there, right there, watching Trucker Josh. Nothing better to do with your time. You click the right video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button as well. I know like half of you haven't done that yet. And it's okay if you don't want to. It's okay, it just makes me sad. But uh, that's cool, you don't have to. Took my garbage over when I was getting all excited there. Gotta have to clean that up. So yes, good morning to you in the valleys and on the mountaintops and all across the prairies. It's another day and I'm just as weird as yesterday. So I can hear you. I hear you. You're asking, Josh, what are you having for breakfast today? I'm glad you asked. Pop-Tarts, not an ad. From the vending machine. Oh, they're gonna be so good. And look at this, I'm being all healthy. Orange juice. But it is from Concentrate, so it's not the healthiest, but mostly uh, orange flavored sugar water but hey I tried. I tried and just for the the kick in the pants that I need this morning because there's no coffee around this rest area Starbucks I know even I stoop down to the level of Starbucks now and then I'm not a perfect man but at least this isn't their like coffee. Their, their actual coffee in their actual coffee shops is tar. It's not coffee. Starbucks does not know what coffee is. They have all these other fancy hipster drinks, but they don't have coffee. I'm not a fan of Starbucks. Have you noticed? I like Tim Hortons. But even with Tim Hortons, I gotta add two shots of espresso in my extra large coffee already because you're still not making it strong enough, Timmy's. Nothing beats. Nothing beats the Colombian bean to cup coffee at the Pile of Flying J, okay? That is coffee. That's coffee. Go take a sip of that. Then you'll know what coffee is. That's what coffee is supposed to taste like. Like coffee. Not coffee flavored water. Not water flavored tar. Coffee. Colombian bean to cup. I tell you, it's the best coffee on the road and I'm not getting sponsored by them either I'm just I'm just being honest with you, you want to find the, the best coffee also at Love's they sell the Colombian as well uh, I think it's like exactly the same thing the Love's just the, the bean to cut machines that they have there try them out if you haven't already your life will be changed forever you will never look at a coffee cup the same it's better than Tim Hortons and you know it's good if I'm saying that all right because I mean, I could, I could have a hit put out on me just for saying that up in Canada. Better than Tim Hortons. I'm risking my life here to bring you the good news. And off we go on another adventure, another day. Woke up in a pretty good mood, so that's good. So I'm only getting one delivery done today, and it's going to take 15 minutes. And then we got to drive down to Raleigh, North Carolina. And we gotta wait till tomorrow morning because I have a very big delivery to deliver there and they won't be able to do it all today. I've gotta be there first thing in the morning. So we'll go to Raleigh. We'll find a good parking spot there somewhere, a nice truck stop, and uh, enjoy an evening tonight. Relax a little bit, get some stuff done around the truck here, clean it up a bit, organize. And tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., we'll be at the customer to unload. That'll take a few hours. I probably won't get out of there till probably about noon. Who knows? That's six hours. Who knows? It'll be a long time to unload. I'm gonna hand bomb most of the trailer off there. It's the biggest uh, delivery of my load. And then from there, I believe we just got a couple of more small deliveries that we can get done throughout the rest of tomorrow and the next day. Ending off in Wilmington, North Carolina. And then I got to uh, call out to the load gods and uh, request that they send me something new to do. Not sure what that'll be yet, but it'll probably, well, you know, I can't even say what it'll probably, I have no idea what it's going to be. 
All I know is it's going to be going back up to Canada. I can't hang out around here too long. I wish I could. It's a beautiful place, very nice people. I love it down here. But it is what it is, gotta get in, gotta get out. So this delivery was another one of those kind of deliveries that uh, where they built the whole industrial zone where big trucks like me have got to get into regularly every day that are built for cars. It was, it was designed and built for cars. Let me show you. Oh, I got here. Okay, wait, there's one car coming. Oh, he's letting me go. Okay. They put these big industrial zones with these big corporations, big businesses down these tiny little roads. Virginia, gotta love it. Virginia's for lovers. Lovers of narrow roads. Can you tell I'm from the, the Midwest, Canada? <laughs> I'm used to big wide open spaces, big roads, big paved shoulders. Lots of room to turn a truck around. Can you imagine if I missed my turn on this road? Oh wow, very nice, nice property over there. This guy's behind me. Sorry bud, I'm not going faster than this. No way, I don't know if any kid's gonna come running out in front of me, I need to be able to stop. Yeah, these big industrial zones like that and then they don't give proper truck access but yeah it is what it is it makes it more fun right it makes it more fun the sun is so bright it just reflects off my dash and then it almost blinds half my windshield like that i don't i don't like that design very much i think a, a darker dashboard would have been better then it doesn't reflect so much back onto the windshield Beautiful area out here. A lot of people got horses. A lot of Trump flags. Almost every yard. <laughs> We're here in South Boston, Virginia. Is this the truck entrance? This has got to be the truck entrance. It's going to be a bit wider, but it's wide enough. I don't need any fuel, but I do need a shower. I might just stay here for the night too, I'm not too sure. You have arrived at your destination. South Boston, Virginia. Pilot number 4,622. I don't want to have to worry about finding a parking spot again tonight, you know? But if I stay here, I'm going to have to leave here at 4.30 in the morning. So there's that. <laughs> the back here see what's back here other than giant man-eating potholes oh there we go there we go gravel hot that's not very common for flying jay i'm surprised that's okay though whatever i'm kind of used to it <laughs> it's all what a lot of truck stops are up where I'm from. Though it's getting better. It's getting a lot better. Where, where, oh where do I want to park? How 
boat right here. This looks like a fine spot. Right beside this light pole. Beautiful. I pulled up to a closer spot. I just realized that this isn't an actual pilot travel center, like not an original one, not, they, they bought this one from someone else, obviously. I hope they have showers here. I have to check the app. Well, usually it's, uh, if it's not an actual pilot flying jet that they built themselves, usually the app doesn't work to reserve showers. I might have to go in there. Here, what, what's all this? Oh, you're changing everything? Everything's changing to fingerprint login. I kind of like that. Yeah, automated showers aren't available. I'll have to actually go in there, walk on my own two feet all the way over there to the building to find out for myself. All the way over there. On my own feet. I decided to come down to Raleigh. Why not? Look at that. We got a big old promise up in the sky up there. sleep right at the customer. I just went and picked up some food to make sure that I had food in the truck. Kilometers. Keep to the right on US 70 East. Uh, not here though. I gotta get out of this lane. This is the one I'm gonna be in. All right. So I got food for tonight, tomorrow morning, and uh, gotta unload there at six in the morning. It'll take a few hours at least. And at least I'm right there then, right? And uh, Definitely on time. No chance of being late. It's a double rainbow up there, isn't it? In one kilometer, keep to the right on US 70 East. If anybody finds the pot of gold, let me know. Well, we're here at our customer. The time is 7.15 p.m. And I've got to be here for 6 a.m. So we got a little bit of time yet. Guess we'll enjoy a little evening here, relax. Watch some YouTube. And I'll see you right here tomorrow, right? Thanks for clicking on this video and watching all the way to the end. If you have watched all the way to the end, you are now obligated to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. It's a rule. It's a rule, uh, new YouTube rule. They just haven't uh, started enforcing it yet, but I, I made it up. It's a new rule. If you've watched this far, you must be subscribed. So subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that like button and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. It'll be uh, quite the morning because I gotta spend the whole morning unloading. Unless if this might be one of those places now because I haven't been here since before the sickness hit. So maybe they won't want me on the dock and maybe I can just back into the dock in the morning and go back to bed. That would be pretty cool, but I have a feeling they're gonna want me to help because it's quite a big delivery. <laughs> So if that's the case, we're going to get sweaty tomorrow in the morning. So I'll talk to you once we're all done that and we're on our way. I believe our next stop is in Thomasville, North Carolina, and we're in Raleigh, North Carolina right now. Beautiful place.